Okay, the oak, okay, the oak. Tuesday, 26th of November. All right, depart, uh, 1842. All right, that's the train time sorted out. I'm off on a little trip. I'm going to go and meet a friend. I'm not giving any clues as to who is that going to be. I'll see you guys at the train station. Okay, well, there's, there's my lift that's just dropped me off. And here we've got Newton Willows train station. Looks like a train just come in. Well, that was easy enough. Liverpool, Newton Willows to Liverpool via Heighton. £5.30 return and he said it's on station 2 station 2 it is station 2 station 2 well I'm downwards and I'm that way I'll go figure that one I'll go up the steps well I'm just noticing that uh, if I caught this train here, I can go all the way to Wales. Probably even me Daisy Days. Although I believe he lives in deepest, darkest Wales. This is more like where uh, Nick Jones live, lives. Flint, that way area. This old? Hi, it is. Right, this is my train. It's a bit, little bit late. It's a lot late. 1854. A lot late. Squeaky brakes. Wow, well that was a journey and a half. It wasn't uh, as quick as it should be. It's now... Uh, 1939. Thought it took nearly an hour to get here on a train journey that should take 18 minutes. Right, let's go and find Scrapping Irish. Okay, speaking to those two fine bobbies there, they tell me that uh, it's like this way somewhere. No, I'm not. You're right, fine. Right. Absolutely no chance of finding this pub. Oh look, a big flashing spinning wheel. Right, okay, so I'm looking for a pub called the Sir Richard John Blackledge Blackers pub. And I've had asked several people. And guess what? It's this one here inside of me. Well, cleverly hidden in a load of scaffolding. No, I'll just walk past it. Alright, let's go and find Iris. We'll have to wander around that pub for five minutes looking like an idiot. It's not the right pub. It's down there. And turn right near the big screen. By the time I meet him, it's time to go home. Looks like there's a Christmas market on. I believe it's down here somewhere. Well, I haven't been all the way down there and all the way around here. I'm told it's go back to train station and turn right. So I'm going to a multi story here. I've not even had a drink yet. Right, back to the station. Found it. I think. Further spoons. Get off. Get off. <laughs> well, I finally made it here. You know, well, as you can tell by looking in the background. And, first time I think live, not live, no, we're not live, I'm, I'm recording. 
but first time on YouTube, scrapping Irish. Well, actually, it's not first time because we've just appeared live on uh, Granny. Granny. Get a, get a done granny, please. Hey, and it's not like an Irishman to have a drink in his hand. An Irishman. And I'm of Irish descent. Matthews. It's a fine Irish name, <laughs> But God, it is. Surely to God. Now, speaking of something, drink. We were just we were talking about beer, and I said, I like beer, and I like whiskey. And then he went, speaking of whiskey, whiskey. it's got a whiskey. And it's called... Oh, my God. The Irishman. Oh. And it's not just like, it's not a Paddy's or uh, no, 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 that no. is special. It's more bespoke. That is, that is beautiful. <coughs> right. You can see that there, uh, pointing that down. Look what he's brought me. That is very nice. I'll do a review of that when I get home. Because <laughs> this is not the right place to do it. And it's a small batch Irish. We'll do that when we get home. And... We have to have some strapping Irish stickers and tell easy. <laughs> right, let me turn the camera around. So, scrapping Irish stickers, tiny scrapping Irish, <laughs> tiny scrapping Irish stickers. Because let's face it, if you're going to do a sticker, <laughs> right, you're going to do a sticker. Now that's. That's an Ian Matthews sticker. Oh, go on, just let me show you how tiny that is compared to that. That's right. And? Limited edition, because I'm not having any more of them made. Does Hazy have any of these? I don't think he'll have one of those. Oh. That's where, when I first started off, and I did Darth Vader wood burners. So I have the Darth Vader wood burner sticker but I'm not having any more of them made so there's probably only about three left of those I am privileged to have one right you are into things so I had a look round my garage and I said what could I find that you'd like well there's an old phone <laughs> There's an old thing, <laughs> and there's a brand new thing, but the battery never worked. And there's another old phone. Oh, look at that! Look how old is that? But I'll be able to retire with all this gold. <laughs> ah, when you mention gold, but I want to give you something that's come out of my shed. <laughs> If you go back and have a look at the video where I was looking for trash and treasure, I found some treasure. And that was this. Oh, Jesus. Well, nice shiny gold on that, Ian. That's just nice shiny gold for an Irishman. And he's gobsmacked. <laughs> You're a YouTube celebrity now, oh, you know. Sorry, it. what make is it, by the way? Rolex. It's not a real one. <laughs> I didn't expect that from you, Ian. <laughs> to be real. What did he mean he didn't expect that from me? It's a trap. It's a trap because I'm from Lancashire. I'm tight. Listen, I went to the market. I went to the market. He charged me two pound fifty for that. What did he tight? <laughs> And that's how Ian does his videos. <laughs> we'll chat later in the shed. Slauncher. Cheers. Massachusetts. Right. <laughs> well, I'm with these two gentlemen who are, well, hardened Irish drinkers. So we've got three whiskies. And I'm not telling them which one. But, give you a clue, he met Hazy Days. He met Hazy Days? Yes. So it's Welsh whiskey. It's Pendrin. Cheers. Slauncher. Courtcher. Slauncher. Slauncher. Well, I'll slaunch into this, don't worry. <laughs> so, 
Look at all this. Look at all Parky Wong. <laughs> right. I'm with these two drunken reprobates, and I've got about eight minutes. That's uh, four fingers. Yeah, eight minutes to get to the train station and get a train warm to my shed. To my shed. To your shed. You too. You're welcome to my shed. Anytime. Anytime. Right, I've got to go. See you in my shed later. Bye, folks. I'm out of breath. That's a run. Catch this next train. This is a bit like Rocky. Da 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 da. Oh, well, having picked myself up off the floor, I'm told it's platform four. This is this one, and I need to just wait for the train. So yes, cheers. That trip went very well indeed. Apart from trying to do me Rocky impersonation up the steps. Hobgoblin. I was drinking Hobgoblin in the uh, in the pub with a scrapping Irish. And a great chap he is too. Wonderful to meet that chap live. And his friend. That was indeed a beautiful gift. An extravagant gift. Scrapping Irish. Uh, fortunately, it came well packaged and survived my fall up the steps. You can't actually fall up, you can only fall down. It's impossible to fall up. Gravity won't let you. So, uh, nice little gift set. To be honest, I started watching that on on Friday night, and uh, pretty good it was too. Oh, beautiful! The Irishman, Founders Reserve, a product of Ireland, uh, looted up uh, from the Walsh Distillery in Carlow. If I can say this right, Schlauncher. Oh, that's nice. So that was my little trip down to Liverpool to meet Scrapping Irish and his friend, and where we had a good crack in the pub. I'll see you in here when I'm better. Bye, folks.